Welcome back into Daybreak. Well, as you know, Memphis is a city with so much history and people living here today continue to make their mark. One local woman making history in the courtroom. Here's Simone Woolridge with this week's Bright Spot. Obviously, we can talk about the crime all day long, but there are tons of underlying issues there. And I think it's just sort of one step at a time, one organization at a time, one person at one intervention at a time. Tanera Gibson knows all about taking one step at a time. She's an attorney at Birch, Porter & Johnson, a law firm in Memphis, leading personal injury, health care liability, and medical malpractice cases. I had people I was tasked with serving call me colored. I've had them call me little black girl. I've had them call me all kinds of things. Um, I've had people tell me they're tired of talking to the secretary. Um, I've had other opposing counsel tell me to go set up at the end of the table because I have to be the court reporter. Taking steps forward in her career, Tanera has had quite the experience. As a minority in law, her story resonates with many others, envisioning themselves in positions like hers. I don't want to say it's an elephant in the room, but it's definitely something a lot of us have been conscious of. Aside from making a name for herself in the courtroom, Tanera is shattering glass ceilings as a black female lawyer in Memphis. Take a look at this wall here. These are photos of previous presidents of the Memphis Bar Association, a group full of local lawyers. No one who looks like me has ever held this position in the NBA's 147 year history. Last month, Tanera gave a speech as the new president of the Memphis Bar Association. She's the first black woman to hold this position and follows behind the first Asian American president, two individuals who rarely saw themselves in positions of power. And to show just how much this accomplishment really means, Tanera's news as president has gone viral on Twitter and Facebook, showing people they can do it too. It's frustrating to me that there are still so many firsts, but I'm very grateful that I'm in this place because I want other lawyers who look like me to believe that this is a place for them, that there is a place for them. A place Tanera has engraved her footsteps in. These moments cherishable and honorable, especially knowing the history of the firm she serves. Take a closer look at this announcement photo. There's a picture behind Tanera of a man named Lucius Birch. He helped lead the Birch, Porter & Johnson law firm in the 1940s. He was known nationally not only as a lawyer, but a civil rights activist who was an attorney for Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. in 1968. He wrote a letter in 1963 to the Memphis Bar Association saying it needed black members. He actually referred to black people as Negroes in the letter with a capital N. That was very uh, sobering for me. And, you know, he said that he wrote the letter at the risk of irritating his colleagues, and but that there's no way we could expect for our pr profession to continue to be respected. 58 years later, Tanera became the law firm's wildest dreams, making her own dream and helping others come true, one step at a time. Reporting in Memphis, Simone Woolrich, WRUG, New Shelf Free. Shattering glass ceilings in the courtroom and what an example for other young women.